The question is tegmina in cockroach arises from tegmina, like we say, the tegmina is a name given to the four wings of the cockroach because two pair of the wings we know in cockroach are present, two pairs of wings. So, the attachment of the wings, four wings, which is called as stigmina, is with the mesothorax, which is the part of abdomen, abdominal cavity. The whole abdomen of the cockroach is divided into three parts, pro, meso and meta. So, on that note, if you see the tegmina has four wings, those are attached with the mesothorax, whereas the hind, hind wings, they are attached with the metathorax. So, here the right answer is mesothorax. Let's move on to the next question. In situ conservation refers to in situ. Here we have to take care of in situ because we know to preserve, conserve the biodiversity, we have two things in situ and ex situ. Ex situ. We have two methods, two ways to preserve the, to conserve the biodiversity. So in situ means on the site, directly on the site, if we are preserving something that is called as in situ. There we don't look for the animals or the plants directly, only we conserve the whole ecosystem. This is again direct line from the NCRT, protect and conserve the, conserve the whole ecosystem. So this first answer itself is the right answer. If we go on the another options, conserve only high risk species, this comes in ex situ. Whereas conserve only, conserve only endangered species is also coming to the ex situ. Conserve only extinct species. Why? Because we have to pick up the species. We have to keep them from another place, make a habitat for them, and then we have to preserve them. So that way, ex situ, these two, three, and four options are going towards the ex situ, and option one is the right answer here. So let's move to the next question. Detritivores break down detritus into smaller particles. This process is called as catabolism, fragmentation, unification, and decomposition. Detritivores, bores, we know, for example, earthworm, it is given in NCRT. This line is directly has come from NCRT. It is very enjoy. I am enjoying to speak that this is from the NCRT because the students who have gone through the NCRT many times they will. Crack it very quickly. Detritivores means the earth form like organisms. What they do? They break the detritus into smaller particles. That is called as fragmentation. And here, if you see the options catabolism, humification, and decomposition, I'll discuss about the decomposition. It is a component of ecosystem. Component of ecosystem. And this component of ecosystem includes certain steps for the decomposition which was fragmentation, then it was leaching, then it was catabolism, there are five types, then we have humification and then mineralization. These, if you remember, these are the steps of the components of decomposition, whereas the decomposition is separately a component of ecosystem. So here the right answer is fragmentation. So now the next question, a dehydration reaction links two glucose molecules to produce maltose. If the formula for the glucose is C6H12O6, then what is the formula for maltose? Here we need to understand glucose, this is monosaccharide, whereas maltose is disaccharide. This is disaccharide. We know two monosaccharides when they meet, they form disaccharide. So here we have to combine C6H12O6 plus C6H12O6. In that case, if we see C can be 12, H can be 24, uh, 12, 24, whereas O can be 12. But now this is not the formula for the molecules. Why? Right? Because one water molecule has to be taken out for that. Alpha 1, 4 is the formation of glycosidic bond. That is the formation of glycosidic bond. That way, one molecule of water has to be removed. Two hydrogen from here and one oxygen has to be taken out from here. So what can be the formula then? It should be C12, H22 and O11. So this is the right explanation. Maltose is two glucose molecules are combining maltose. 
So we we take we form disect right. So let's go to the next question now. Identify the asexual reproductive structures associated with pencilium. Pencilium. Pencilium is what? It is a fungi. Which fungi? Ascomycetes. It is Ascomycetes. Fungi is fungi. There are so many types. You know, Ascomycetes, Pencilium, which is helpful in making the antibiotics. We know the antibiotic Pencilin. It is helpful in making the antibiotics Pencilin. The question is very simple. I have taken directly again from the NCERT that Pencilium. Asexual reproductive structures are so if we say zoospores are given in case of phycomycetes, it is written that phycomycetes we have zoospores which are motile, which are motile, and conidia are the spores which are asexually reproducing in case of pencilium, which is ascomycetes. Question is little tricky. But we can make it out if you remember the types of ESCO and FICO, it is very easy to make out that asexual reproducing structures can be conidia or zoospore in the separate types, right? So, gamule, third option if we see gamule in case of sponges, we see the aggregation of the cells in a common cell wall is called as gamule, which is we see in the sponges. So, here as per the question, if see, we see the right option is conidia, right? So far, I said so far the questions are very easy. 